Hey sweet family, today I have another Walmart grocery haul for you guys. So stick around till the end because I'm going to show you some new things that I bought, some things that are deals. I wanted to show you guys this Hamilton Beach toaster oven that we picked up. Our toaster oven just conked out just one day, just popped the circuit and conked out. And we've been without a toaster oven for about two weeks. And we really find that we really can't do without a toaster oven. It's kind of like a staple in our home. It stays on the countertop. We use it every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And we use it for like reheating. So toasting bread, reheating uh, pizza, fries, nuggets, uh, roti. So we really rely on our toaster oven, but we just need a simple toaster oven. Um, so I just found there was a lot of choices with the air frying now um, there are toaster ovens with air fryer um, and then of course the normal like convection ones and of course broil and everything like that so i'm going to go through this one really quickly i will do an unboxing and a review of this one in a separate video but i'll just go through it really quickly just to give you the lowdown on the features here so we have hamilton beach um so it's an energy saving um toaster oven Okay, so it does say that it saves time and energy. Okay, um, so 75% 75, 75 less uh, energy. Um, I'm not sure what it's comparing it to, but in my review, I will go through that. Um, and it reheats 28 times faster. I believe it's comparing it to a conventional oven. But uh, again, I'm not sure. Um, so it's a four slice capacity and it's a five-year warranty if that will focus there we go so yes yeah, so it's a five-year warranty the model is 31401c so that's the one we bought and it's a four slice toaster so it fits four slices uh, a nine inch pizza i believe something like an eight by eight pan and a uh a loaf pan i'm not sure it tells you all the these features here this is in French so I'm going to turn it around for you guys okay so um yeah they're just saying you can use it as a second oven which I'm sure you guys know I'm not sure if it has a crumb um crumb tray uh, it looks like it does in the picture but it doesn't say it here so when I open it up I will definitely give you guys um, a look and see if that is the case and it is comparing the energy saving to the kitchen oven here okay so it's stainless steel all over there was a display model and I did get to see the whole thing um, and then uh, there's a 30 minute automatic um, shut off on the timer and there's also a ready bell so when your food is ready it'll ding then i picked up uh grace parboiled long grain rice so now on to some of the items i got for our weekly meal okay so crescent rolls i bought two of these i usually make the ham and cheese squares i mentioned that in another video of mine um I can't remember which one, but I did buy these and mentioned that I will be making ham and cheese breakfast squares with those. Okay, then I have Great Value Rising Crust Deluxe Pizza and the Great Value Thin, Thin and Crispy Pepperoni Pizza. So I just bought these to have on hand. I usually make my pizzas um, from scratch. Um, but I found um, there were a couple of weeks where my kids wanted pizza for the for pizza lunch and uh, they haven't been doing pizza lunch for a while but now they're starting up again so i and so there were some weeks where they didn't have a pizza lunch and it was okay because there was none going on at the school but now that there is i just thought i'd have some on hand um, in case i can't make it okay then i bought some baby bell gouda cheese here just for snack time and then some tex-mex cheese i'm going to be making some quesadillas this week uh, so I thought that would be nice to um, put it in there. Picked up some chicken bacon, okay, because uh, we do have some still in the freezer, but we always use that every weekend, once once a week, basically. So uh, we, once a week, we use about half the pack. So I thought I'd just buy it and stock up. Cooked corned beef, so for deli sandwiches. Um, I did not get the Kaiser's 
Uh, I'll have to go to a different grocery store to get the Kaisers because they didn't have any there. Sometimes they don't, and so they didn't have the Kaisers. They also didn't have the subs because I'm going to be making meatball subs this week as well. So I'll have to go to another um, store for that. Probably no frills. I also picked up some sun cured pepperoni. We like this one while well, the kids and the hubby likes this one. And so, like I said, I'll be making more pizzas with these. Um, picked up some cooked ham, just, just the regular cooked ham. So I was buying the Black Forest, but I found it was a little too salty when I made the breakfast squares with that. So uh, I just switched to this and it actually, the kids like it better. Okay, so then some deli express pepperoni for their Kaiser sandwiches or their subs uh, for lunch. I bought a bag of homo milk and then homogenized milk. And then I bought some of these Minute Maid orange juice. There we go. A Minute Maid orange juice without the pulp. Um, so it's pulp free um, to mix in, in the pitcher and leave it in the, in the fridge. Uh, but then I bought some eggs, so I do plan to do a bit of baking, but also some breakfast, like I said, um, some breakfast stuff, so make ahead breakfast things. So I usually boil about six eggs for the week, and I leave it in the fridge for me and my hubby. And then um, there are other uh, breakfast items that my kids like to eat. Plus, I'm going to be baking some chocolate chip cookies. So if I pick up that, and I do have quite a bit of eggs in the fridge already. So that should last us well into the following week. Okay, then I will go down here. I have some breaded popcorn shrimp. The last time I made a mistake and I picked up the really spicy ones. So they're in a red bag, but um, some of us liked it. So, but it was super, super duper spicy. Uh, so I decided to, since we still have some left over, I decided to buy this one for the rest of the family um, or we could just kind of like whoever likes the spicy ones they can mix it with this one um, so we're gonna have this and spring rolls vegetable rolls spring rolls we're gonna try making spring rolls from scratch my son wanted to try that so we're gonna be doing that experimenting with that so that should be fun then we have some great value mixed vegetables here um, I did want the corn, but they were all out. Actually, the frozen vegetables were kind of wiped out, so I don't know what's going on, but um, I did manage to get that. Then I got some tomato paste just to stock up. I do have one can downstairs, and I have um, one can that I opened. I Usually when I open it, I, I freeze it. And if you guys want, I can do a fruit prep video for you guys showing how I store some of my food because... Um, as you guys notice, I do buy a lot of food, but I do put a lot of it away, like I freeze it. Um, so if you wanna see that, let me know in the comment box. Okay, then I picked up some Grace Coconut Milk, some one evaporated milk, Great Value. I haven't tried the Great Value brand, I don't think, but um, I imagine it should be okay. The Great Value brand is usually good. Um, I do have three cans of this downstairs, but I do plan to use one of them this week to make uh, rice pudding. So I bought one to kind of replace that. And I like to keep these on hand because when we're done, like if we run out of milk, then we can just pull from these canned milk when, when we want like tea and we want some milk in our tea. Um, okay, then I picked up some pinto beans. These were on sale five for $5, but I only picked up one of the pinto beans. But the black beans, I picked up five of these. So there's like five. So that was $5 because we really like black beans. Um, then I picked up some Great Value chocolate syrup, chocolate sauce, chocolate syrup. And then I picked up some um, Our Finest uh, maple syrup. This is the very dark, strong taste. They also had a lighter one, which it said it was lighter, rich taste. Um, so for us though, uh, because they're gonna be putting on pancakes, we want that maple syrup flavor, uh, that really strong maple syrup flavor. For if I'm baking with it, so for example, my blueberry scones, which I will link the video up above right now, if you wanna take a look at that one. Um, I do use maple syrup a lot in that one and so, for something like that, you might want to go with 
something a little less strong, but for us, we don't mind the strong taste. Okay, then we have some ranch dressing. This is the first time we're gonna try this Great Value brand. We usually buy the Kraft one, and the kids like that one, but we're gonna try this ranch um, from Great Value. Um, and if you wanna know how it tastes, if compared to Kraft, you can shoot me down a comment down below, and I will uh, answer that for you. Okay, so VH sweet and sour sauce. They did not have plum sauce, but I was going for either sweet and sour or plum sauce to eat with their nuggets and uh, chicken fingers. So that was fine. It was on sale. I also picked up some premium plus crackers and some great Valley, Valley trail mix dark chocolate granola bars. My daughter likes this. My, my husband likes this. I like this as well. Um, once in a while. Then I bought some Tea India. Now, if you remember one of my previous hauls recently, I bought Tea India, uh, the masala chai. I've been using that one for almost half of a year, I think, or a little bit more. And I really like this one, but I've always seen the cardamom chai and I want to try it. Uh, so I, <clears throat> sorry guys. So I want to try this out and see what it tastes like because I love the taste of cardamom so there you go I'm gonna try that out if you guys want to know how it tastes ask me down in the comments below or you can send me a message in Instagram and I'll let you guys know how this one goes because I'll be using it tomorrow I'm really excited about this let me know what you guys drink are you tea people or are you a coffee person let me know down in the comment box I'd love to know um yeah let's start our conversation okay so I, i've also bought some great value whole wheat bagels i like the ones uh we like the ones from walmart the great value brand because it's soft i find the other ones a little bit stiff a little bit hard so i like when it's soft and when you toast it it's got that toasted outside but soft inside so love that one then villaggio um uh, hamburger bread. Now, I was buying the hamburger bread from Costco. Um, really good deal at Costco. So, if you want hamburger bread and you're okay with sesame seeds, buy it from Costco. But the problem is that one of the kids in my daughter's class is allergic to sesame seeds, and the teacher instructed not to bring sesame seed um, hamburger bread. So, we're going to try this one. We've had it before, but I can't remember if the kids like it or not, but we're going to try it. Um, it's just as big like each bun just as big as the Dempster's uh, ballpark um, hamburger bread so the size is fine you could get it with the cornmeal on top or you can get it without cornmeal so it just depends your preference but I thought since they like the sesame seeds they would like the cornmeal on top okay so let's go over here um, I picked up some sunflower seeds this is the great value uh, sunflower seeds. So I like to snack on this. This is the unsalted, but I do still like to snack on this, but I also like to um, put it in my food. Um, those of you who don't know, I'm a vegetarian, so I always try to find ways to sneak those things into my food. Um, and that's a great way that I do it. So spaghetti sauce, um, even curries, uh, rice, um, like a rice pilaf or a rice biryani, I will put that in there. Okay, then I bought some Lay's family size, lightly salted, some Tostitos, hints of lime chips, and we eat that with salsa, and then um, barbecue flavored potato chips as a treat, and then some kettle cooked spicy jalapeno flavor. There's the combination right there, so I'll just try it. Okay, then I bought some coriander. So uh, I bought four of these because we cook a lot of curry. And so I usually do, do up my own coriander and grind it up and everything. And then um, I also do the garam masala. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's a mix of different spices um, separate to the coriander and then you mix the coriander and that mixture of spices together and you get your curry so 
I didn't run out of the mixture, I ran out of the coriander. So I thought, okay, I've been looking for this for a while and I haven't found it and I finally saw it at Walmart. So I just picked up uh, four packages of it. Okay, then I have some cumin seeds. Um, again, we use this a lot in our cooking. So just bought that. This is also something that goes in that other mixture, the garam masala that goes with the coriander for the curry. Uh, so I just always like to keep this on hand because we also use this separately in our food. Okay, so that is um, the food so far. I'm going to put these away. First, I'm going to show you some necessities, but I'm going to put those away after. And then I stick around because I do have some uh, fresh produce that I want to show you guys. Okay, then I have some Jergens revitalizing vitamin e cream these were on sale and so um now there are three out of the five of us that use this so i picked up quite a bit just to stock up a little i think two of my kids need a bottle and then there'll be three extra okay then i picked up some game finally this was on sale or it was a good price for $3.97. So I picked up one bottle of box of that. I really do like the gain. It's either gain or fleecy. Um, I don't mind bounce as well, but my preference is the gain. And then I put, picked up some multi-purpose paper. This is the 500 sheets. And this is the cheapest so far that I've seen it. If you guys know anywhere that is a less, uh, so it's more cheaper than the price on the screen right now, uh, let me know maybe Amazon. I've looked on Amazon, but I did not find anything cheaper. So let me know because we all, we go through paper a lot. I am a piano teacher. And so I do print a lot of worksheets and things like that for my students. And then my kids like uh, print out their assignments sometimes. Okay, then I'll show you guys what I picked up here. These were really good steals. Um, at least they were to me. Um, this shirt is kind of like a little bit on the thin side, but I don't mind because I bought this for summertime when we go fishing. So when we go fishing, uh, it is hot and you kind of need a long sleeve shirt to protect your arms. At least that's how I like to do it. So I thought this would be nice because it's a light color. So it's perfect for summer. Um, it's camouflage, so it's like an outdoorsy type of shirt. Now, I don't normally like camouflage or wear camouflage because I'm more of a girly girl, but I feel like the colors here are going to work. This was $9. I also picked up some hand towels. Our colored towels are getting dingy, and I'm finding it very hard to keep them clean. Um, I've watched numerous videos, but nothing works, and so... I think it's just, I think it comes a point in time where you just have to get rid of your towels. And so that's what I'm doing. I wanted to try buying the white towels now for the bathroom and kitchen and bath towels um, as much as I can and bleaching them when I wash them. So I can either use an oxygen bleach or I can use um, a regular chlorine bleach. But regardless, I do want to try doing that because I'm not liking how dingy our towels are. So there were $3.97 each for each hand towel, and they're a pretty good size, I think. I picked up this really huge bath sheet. I can't even hold it up for you guys, but it's super, super big. Um, I'll give you the size. So it says it's oversized, and it's 35 by 50. So it was $9.97, so can't go wrong. Again, white, so that I can bleach it when I wash it. Okay, now this was in, it says it was a holiday towel, okay, $14.98. This is 34 inches by 64 inches. So this is a big bath sheet as well. I bought this for my daughter because she likes mint green. And it's actually not showing up very well as mint green in the camera. But it's actually a little bit more green than what you're seeing right now. And a little bit more vibrant. And when I went to the cashier to check this out, um, she said, oh, this is ringing up as $14.98 and shouldn't this be on sale? Um, because it's like for holidays, it's like 
you know, their holiday symbol, holiday stuff. Um, and it does say holiday bath sheet. So I told her I'm not sure. And she ended up just discounting it for me and giving it to me for $6.50. So that was a really good steal. And I kind of wished that I had picked up two because my daughter does need a second one. And I was just looking at the cost. So I, I didn't want to buy a second one right now. But if I had known it would be $6.50, I would have definitely picked up two. Okay guys, I'm back with a few vegetables. Sorry for the lighting. The sun's gone down and I did have to turn on the light. Okay, so I bought some broccoli here and some cabbage for our spring rolls and uh, possibly um, cabbage and meat. And then some cucumbers, a cello bag of spinach, some kale and for the kale i'll be making some tortellini and kale soup um i did not get that i have to get that from another grocery store the tortellini but that is one of the things on the menu this week then i picked up some mushrooms these are the cremini i mentioned the last time that i like the cremini ones because they don't spoil as easily and then some garlic it's a big bag of garlic this Actually, when I bought it the last time from Walmart, it lasted me for a very, very long time. So months. Um, so I bought another and one. I actually just left it in the fridge and it lasted, it did not spoil. So um, that was a good buy. And then some berries, and these look really sweet. Um, they are small, um, but they're very juicy. So I'm uh, going to try these out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.